There was only one way to find out what the fuss was all about. I went down to Covent Garden's recording studio, The Hospital, to put auto-tune into practice. This is our control room, John. Incredible. I mean, this is where it all happens. Do you know what all those do? Uh, most of them. <laughs> it's <laughs> taken me a while, but yes, I do. Auto-tune is a software device which allows singers to have their pitch perfectly tuned. We can do a semitone, we can do more, we can do in between. A quarter, whole tone? Quarter. We could do a whole tone. A God, whole you tone. could might... be really seriously bad and you could um, get me into quite a good condition. Not in, you, you do need to have an element of the original, um, the original um, vocal being within the boundaries of, of auto-tune. About this sort of... That sort of distance, yeah, that's yeah. perfect, yeah. yeah. I'm just make sure. Hey Jude, don't make it bad. Take a sad song and make it better. Remember to let her into your heart. Then you can start to make it better. Well, Simon, I'll give it my best shot. Okay. Give me what I actually did. Okay, here it is. Hey Jude, don't make it bad. Take a sad song and make it better. Okay, hey. now, what you've done to it. Okay, with the auto tune in again. Here right. we go. Hey Jude, don't make it bad. Take a sad song and yeah, make it's all it perfect better. Pitch now. Definitely. Remember to let her into your heart, then you can start to make it better. That's about as good as you could ever make me. That's not bad. <laughs> I, I would say that's almost pitch perfect. That was the best I could do. But how would the software cope with something like this? Hey Jude, don't make it bad. Take a sad song and make it better. Remember to let her into your heart. Then you can start to make it better. I don't know what the hell it's going to do with that. We'll have a look um, and see what <laughs> it may not does it seem to be. Song. Does it seem to be actually grabbing that. But is it beyond what you can deal with? Don't make it bad. Okay, and now with the auto show in, auto tune in rather. Hey Jude, don't make it bad. Take a sad song. Now it's improved it slightly, you can hear it working there. Yeah, you can hear it trying um, very hard, but it's got as far as it can. Absolutely, um, yeah. that, that's in auto mode. Now what right. we would normally do is go into manual mode, and we just zone in on a couple of those phrases there that we were slightly under. But, and it, but frankly, them up. it's untransmissibly bad. <laughs> Shall we be candid? <laughs> untransmissibly bad, but I'm joined by Ben Wood, a lecturer in music production from the London School of Sound, who's worked with artists like Beyonce, Cheryl Cole, and Westlife. Um, well, this isn't really new gizmo, is it? Well, it, it's technically new in the sense it's digital, but it's an old story, isn't it? Yes, it's been around since uh, about 1996, and has just basically been improved um, as computer technology has improved itself. Are we suggesting that virtually nobody can sing without it? Uh, no, a great singer will always be a great singer. Um, you can always take people up, I say, one level. If they're a bad singer, you can make them an OK singer. OK to good, good to great, great to amazing. An amazing singer will always be at the top of their game. Anyway. But diabolical to absolutely nothing. Uh, pretty much. You've got yes. to have some basic ta talent, yes. as Simon, the engineer, suggested. Um, but, but, but therefore, um, why the fuss? Um, I think it's because it was used in a competition format. Um, so. Uh, people thought that they were being cheated, I think, that some people were being uh, tuned and others weren't. But, but in a way, they were being cheated because, um, as you have said, a great singer, and that's after all what a talent spotting show is all about, is a great singer, as you said. Yes, um, I think, I don't think it should have been used in a, in a competition format, but um, I guess X Factor feel that they are just trying to make a great TV show. But I mean, there are great groups. I mean, in my day and age, there were the Monkeys, who, who I, I don't, I'm not saying they couldn't sing in tune, they could, but, but they were kind of created. They were not great musicologists or anything else. And I dare say, even today, there are people who perhaps can't really sing without this auto-tune capacity. Yes, um, uh, I think, once again, you're just um, improving what's there and to, there, is, ha there hasn't been a, a record made in the last sort of 10 years that hasn't had auto-tune used in some respect, whether it's 1% of the time or 100% of the time. Are we really any longer talking talent shows anyway? Aren't we just talking entertainment? Um, 
people could argue that point, especially with the, with the X Factor case in point. But um, I, I still feel that you should be uh, able to sing before the autotune is used uh, as a starting point. But in the end, the acid test is um, there's the 11 million people that tune in, isn't it? I mean, do they care? Um, it, I guess they do. The amount of uh, <laughs> posts on uh, Twitter and Facebook and all the groups that have appeared today show that they do care. This has been real um, talk on the yeah, social um, blogosphere the, and everywhere else. Yes, um, uh, everywhere you go, um, on Twitter and Facebook, as I've said, it's just all over the place. People commenting, saying, I feel cheated. How dare they do this? Um, this is supposed to be a competition. Heaven preserve us. I shall find my offering somewhere in the blogosphere before I finish the programme. Thank you very much indeed, Ben Wood.